the move by the 76ers to part ways with Brian Colangelo, is that in any way based on we got to be attracted to free agents and, you know, especially to LeBron, LeBron James? Big time. Exactly. And I mean, when you, you listen to it, you know, you know, it, it was, you know, excuse me, you, you listen to the owner, Josh Harris, you know, talk, and he says that, you know, we, we are basically trending in the right way. You know, we're a nice, you know, we're a good destination for teams. You know, he talks about, you know, how they're going to go after, go out and get free agents. And also the fact that Brett Brown is right now the interim um, president of basketball operations. You know, Brett is, is part of the reason. Well, he's basically the majority of the reason that J.J. Reddick came there. Now, I know some people may argue that they gave him $23 million, But once J.J. signed, he said he wanted to, always wanted to play for Brett. He loved Brett. And then you look at Marco Bellinelli and Ersan Ilovasova. These are two guys that came to the 76ers as free agents because of Brett Brown. So basically, this move... It was embarrassing, but the but the way that it happened so quickly is because they know that they had to bring in someone else for free agency because guys were not going to come because of Brian Colangelo. Is there any way they could have kept him? I don't think so. Um, and and I know that people are saying you know it was his wife and he had nothing to do with it. That's what he's saying. You know, when you when you really get down to it, and we said this before, you know, last week, it's one of those things that it was, you know, information that wasn't supposed to get out, and she's admitting to tweeting it. And as much as people say, as much as he says he had nothing to do with it, she got the information some way, somehow. Yeah. And it was just negative. Now, in Philadelphia, there's a billboard up roasting him. Um, there's a couple guys who made a video game up roasting him, and there's even like a little song out there roasting him. So I could not see him coming back. And and the thing about it is, like, you know, I found out that this guy was at a workout um, a couple, two days ago. And, you know, you write that up and you just look at the comments and what people were saying on Twitter. Mm. You know, there was no way – that he could come back because of a PR nightmare it would have been. So I think they had to let him go. He said that somebody was out to get him. Um, you know, his, his wife wasn't out to get him, but somebody was out to get him to release this. Do we have any idea or will we ever find out who is that person who tipped off the ringer? You know, uh, you know, there, there are certain people who you think I, I, I rather not say right now in, until, you know, you, you, I do a little bit more research, but again, see, here's the thing, you know, the 76ers were, you know, kind of adamant uh, on like, you know, guys not being on social media, doing this and doing that, you know, things. And then you hear that they monitor it. Like he wanted people to be on there, you know, keeping up what people were doing. So it was a great article by the ringer, but it makes you assume that maybe someone tipped the ringer. Oh, yeah. Like, hey, look yeah. at this pattern. You yeah. know, this is crazy because, you know, I don't know if any other reporters or a national publication will follow all the beat writers to see how many common people followed them. And, and, and you know what I mean? So it had to come from within. It had to. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.